Hi everyone, I hope you're doing all right and you're enjoying the new uh, VR in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Um, it's been hard a couple of weeks, you know, a couple of weeks to try to figure it out. But we, um, I finally got it and it's really good and it's it's just a game changer, these settings. So I want to share them with you. I want, first of all, I want to say thanks to everyone in the community for helping me figure my stuff out and mess around with it. And thanks for you guys for your advice and stuff. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm really pleased with the... Um, the results. So first of all, I'll just tell you about my my setup. I've got I'm running um, a 2060 Super um, RTX Super, and I've got um, Ryzen 7 3700X eight core, 3.6 gigahertz, and 32 gigs of RAM. And it's really it's doing really well. I mean I'm really happy with it. With these settings, you can get in the headset. I'm getting a steady 31, 32, well, 31 FPS. It doesn't even go under 30. So between 30 and 32 FPS, and it creates a completely smooth, smooth experience in the, in the simulator. So it's it's taken me a long time. It's, it's been really difficult with the choppiness and everything. Like everyone's had loads of problems with it. Um, I, I'm sure that um, they'll send out a software update soon enough with all the fixes. But hopefully this will help you guys get back on you know get on track and enjoying the sim as well so first of all i'll start off with the, the driver so you should have you can see here i've got it displayed already get this driver version from the nvidia website it's 452.06 it's a driver they released last august and it's, it's just much better with the sim for some reason it just runs it better everything else seems to run with it fine so i don't see any problems with it so definitely download that first let that install and then um the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your oculus app and you're going to go and you're going to you probably know this already but you're going to go into settings into beta and you're going to click on public test channel it'll download some additional software um, and that'll enable you to get use or we will use the um the debugger tool where is that so what i do here is it's oculus debugger tool it's in the actual folder of the oculus uh, app you just go in there and you right click on it and you run it as administrator really important Click on that, sorry about that. And then you've got these settings. Now all I want you to do, a lot of people have been changing the first settings and the last settings. I haven't done I have done that and it didn't really work. So what I did, I went in there and I changed two settings. Okay, I'll show you right now. The adaptive GPU performance scale. We click that off. The asynchronous space warp. You click it to force 45 fps asw is disabled now i'm guessing that pushes it to uh, try and force it to 45 i don't know i don't really understand it but it works and then you can see your fps in your in your headset if you just to click on the performance tab there leave this debugger open the whole time so just minimize it when you're ready uh, you can just minimize it and then what you're going to do next you're going to go into the sim i can just get that up here Okay, so you go into the sim, and these are my settings. So these, this is giving me a, again between 30 and 32 FPS, which 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 in VR is fine. It's smooth. It's it's when I get down to the busy cities, it's a little slightly slightly, you know, qu not quite as smooth, but still fine. Um, as if you're flying really low. If you're flying at 500 feet ac across the city, it's fine. If you're in the wilderness, it's like unbelievable. So what I do, um, I put 90 render scaling. You can put 80 and you can get a few FPS, but I just like the clarity of the, even having 90. Then you can just, I'm not going to read through them all, you can just see them. So you've got the TAA. <laughs> Again, I, it's important to me as a terrain, more than anything. I just find that the most important thing. So I've got the data on, on that ultra buildings, ultra trees, ultra, that's all top, okay? Then the clouds, I love the clouds, but I don't need it on ultra. Some people might prefer to switch some of those other ones, you know, down a bit, and then you can put, increase that to ultra if you love clouds. Texture resolution, these aren't, some of these aren't top. I mean, that's eight, you can have up to 16 there, but I take it, I use it on eight. And then um, I have that on four by four. It's because my, I'm running a you know, 2060 Super, I don't think it's, it's gonna be anywhere near a 2080 Ti or something, I guess. So you've got all these different um, effects, but you know you can see my, my I've got high settings, and this is brilliant, guys. Honestly, I can't I can't stress enough how much uh, how how thankful I am for this because it's just a complete game changer. So I spent most of the day 
flying around the Alps. It was really cool. And it's obviously live weather and live snow, so it's brilliant. So no, really, really cool. And um, I'll probably make some more videos if you want. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments. And um, hopefully this will get you on track. Give it a chance. Give it a try. When you load up the sim and you see the FPS is like low, just give it like, honestly, give it five, ten minutes and just, just glide through. Just fly along for five, ten minutes and the computer will start to behave better. I don't know, it seems to happen to me and it's it's brilliant. So let me know in the comments how you get on if you have any questions and then I'll try and help you. All right, guys, take it easy.